morning. Welcome to the Dog Man. I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, I think. Why do I even mess with that? I don't know. Well, I am getting ready to head to town. I got to pick up some small uh, nails for my nail, finished nails for my nail gun because I'm getting ready to put on the cedar onto the frame of the cabinet that I hung yesterday. You yeah, didn't see that video. That's in Washita Mountain Living Channel. Still getting used to the name change, guys. Ah, oh well. But uh, I know I got some somewhere. But you know, I found in my unorganized life, it's easier just to go buy another batch of them than to spend an hour looking for them. And then you know, in the end, when I get everything organized, well, I'll just have a whole lot of them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I need a special nail for that because they're not very long. I'm, my cedar is very thin that I'm putting on there. And yeah, I don't want to use screws or regular nails, so I want it to be invisible. But you know, I look around today's house. The things we have in our homes are so much different than just 15, 20 years ago. Uh, everything is pretty much cordless, wireless chargeable i mean this microphone got the usb c i think the c that fits pretty much everything now i just plug that in charge it up you know this the cameras everything here the the microphone the camera charges by the usb c this microphone everything you got thousands of cords laying around uh, so that is something I want to get in the future. I think I'll use the pantry for that. I want to set up an area that's like a charging station because there's outlets in there that aren't going to be used uh, where I have all my batteries for my power tools. A lot of my tools now are mostly cordless, you know, battery powered. Uh, with the exception of the new router, a router takes a lot of power. I don't think there's a... I know they have the cordless routers out there, but you'd be charging that, changing batteries constantly on that because they they move at such a high uh, RPM. I can't. I, I just better off going with cordless on that. But you know, everything. I mean, there's these this these things are everywhere. You can plug them into the wall, and you know. I've got cords. I don't know what they go to. And it really don't matter because now pretty much in the beginning, you would have a, a separate cord for each thing and it would be different. Especially cell phones. That used to irritate me. You'd get a new cell phone and had had to have that specific charger. Now it's all one standard size, which is great. I was complaining about that for years. Why don't they just make one charging cable that works on everything? Well, they do now. Occasionally, you'll get a thing that takes its own little cord. Like my my water bottle. I got the big five-gallon water bottles, and there's a little pump that goes on top. That was different. Why they can't make that USB-C, I don't know. Uh, so I need to build like a little charging state where all those cords, and throw half of them out because you don't need them. And then I've got the typical box of old computer cords and that upstairs obsolete because your computer you know a lot of them things are wireless now your keyboard your mouse I actually got my security system in the pantry there the whole units there and you can plug in a mouse so I went and bought a wireless mouse so I can there's a let me see if I can turn this around there's my monitor up here, and I can use this mouse uh, to control. It's a wireless mouse, so I don't I don't have to actually plug into the unit, and it picks it up from way back there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, man, it's hard keeping up with all the the new tech things, but it's pretty cool. You can there's a gadget for just about anything you can think of. Uh, I was looking this morning on Amazon for 
for maybe some little lights to put up on top of my cabinets just to give it a little cool glow up there there goes the camera I still haven't fixed the camera it's setting <laughs> but they have these ones I like but they took like three AAA batteries a piece and I do not want those kind of lights so we'll see what I end up getting um, didn't get a whole lot I got the frame built and hung yesterday it's going to work out for me. Uh, there is a wall to the left of it that has a space where I could put something. I'm just going to hang my, my cast iron skillets and pots and pans there. Because that's always been an issue is storing them things. Uh, I need a spot for that. So I've got several hooks. Uh, a subscriber sent me a whole box of hooks. Whether any of them will go for kitchen use, I don't know. But, I mean, once you hang the pan, nobody's looking at the, at the hook. I'll come up, I'm thinking maybe frame a nice cedar spot and put my, you know, I don't know. It's not that big, so you're not going to, I'm not going to get a lot of stuff hung. But if I can hang up my, my frying pans and cast iron skillets, uh, they would get those out of the way. And it would use up that space. I don't need a spice rack because I've got a lazy Susan in the corner that has, well, you know, it goes around. That works perfect. I like my spices out of the humidity, out of the sunlight, because if you ever get a spice and take it off the shelf and it's all big, a solid clump and you got to break it up, well, that's humidity doing that. So I try to keep them out of the, you know, out of the sunlight and the humidity, which some of them it's, it's impossible to do garlic and pepper salt that's one of my favorite spices and that always does that clumps up then in the winter it's a hard rock now you got to keep in spices you can buy them right off the shelf and they're they're unusable because they've been in the store so long because uh, a lot of people depending on the spices you buy a lot of people don't cook anymore, so they're not buying any. They just put salt and pepper on stuff. That's it. Or hot sauce. You know, the art of cooking is going away with the younger generations. They don't, it's a, I want it now, heat it up in the microwave, and be done with it generation. And so a lot of your spices are sitting on the shelves for years. Well, I don't know about years, but they're, by the time you get them, man, they ain't no good. So I got a lot of like basil, thyme, and all that. I, I grew my own. I've got like a year's supply of that stuff. Years supply. Dried it up, put it in uh, a jars. So I got plenty of my own spices. That was you know one thing I grew in my garden that 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 I could really actually use. Uh, I don't need to grow any more this year. So as you know, I am not doing a garden this year. I'm taking a break from it. And I'm getting, if I do have another garden next year, if I start it up, it's going to be in a greenhouse. I, that is my next venture, not doing the tub gardens, the outdoor, because outdoor gardens in Arkansas suck. You're constantly doing something to try to get things to grow. And I want to build a nice big greenhouse that is climate controlled where you know I'm the kind of guy if I plant tomatoes I want big ass tomatoes that are juicy and red and ripe and you don't get those here at least I haven't I uh, did do did pretty good in the pots with tomatoes but you would harvest it once and then you'd be lucky to get another harvest instead of all year or all summer and you're only gonna get a couple harvests but you know, to me, it wasn't worth it. They were taking up space. That is the area I want to make a little setting area back there. So I've planted grass seed. Uh, we'll just wait for the grass. And when the grass grows there, that is going to be good for water control. Because if you have something that has grass rather than bare land, it's going to absorb the water. And, and it's going to help with the, you know, I had flooding issues back there. So that's going to help with that. And it has a good thick base of gravel underneath that. So it should drain very well once the grass comes in. I'm hoping because I'm done with it. But I haven't had any issues. And we've had some very heavy rains. And I haven't had any issues uh, since putting in the 
French drain to, and then I put a little drain pipe there underneath it since doing that I have not had any issues with flooding so hopefully that's all fixed uh, I gotta fix this camera it's I got the time it's if it's on so many minutes it goes off that's all that's wrong with it now I just got to change the setting all right well I have to hand it to head to town and get some nails uh, there was a few other things I needed don't remember now it'll come to me yeah and and think of, I don't know I made a pot of spaghetti the other day I'm gonna be eating that for five days man made way too much way way too much but I gotta say I love that induction top man it is nice uh, I enjoy cooking on that a lot so all right, guys, just a short one today. I uh, didn't really have any subject, just blabbering. Sometimes those are the best videos. I don't know. My kitchen renovation videos, uh, people aren't real interested in that on the other channel. So I'm probably not going to film what I'm doing today. I'm going to let it go for a week or so and then surprise you because people just aren't watching. Maybe it, I don't think it has any, it doesn't have anything to do with the name change because they weren't watching before. Uh, just ain't getting the views. Maybe maybe I just need to hang it up. Quit doing YouTube. I'm just not doing well at it. So I don't know. That is something I've been thinking about. You know, it's just, but it is, a, uh, you know, it, it helps. It buys all my, it pays for these renovations. I don't make a lot, but it helps pay for that. So, uh, you know, I guess if people aren't interested, they're not interested. Anyway. I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy trails.